Hello everyone, welcome to Knowledge India once again. In this particular video, we will talk about AWS Cost Explorer. We will look at a given scenario and we'll try to solve it using Cost Explorer. You can see on the screen, I'm currently logged in to my master account or management account, you can say, and uh, I have AWS Cost Explorer open. Now I want to go ahead and find out that in my organization, which account is actually costing me the maximum amount of money um, so we'll see that how we can go ahead and you know narrow down to that particular thing and we'll also see that how we can find out that actually because of what usage that cost is being incurred right we just do not want to stop at the service level so i want to show you some of those examples in this video Okay, um, in my AWS organization here, I've got like a number of accounts, maybe around 20 plus accounts. And uh, the amount spent here is not a lot, but the, but the options which I'm gonna show you will help you to go ahead and use Cost Explorer in your organization as well. And using these options, you can go ahead and do a good amount of slice and dice and actually figure out uh, that what is costing you how much so as you can see at this point currently uh, the duration chosen here is like last six months and you can see the amount shown is like zero why is it so uh, is it that there is no usage at all actually no uh, there is some usage but that is getting negated or that is getting compensated by the use of credits so uh, we get some credits as part of the AWS hero program and then that is just compensating it right so that's why I don't have to pay that amount but I want to go ahead and first figure out first thing which I want to figure out is that how much is my usage right so uh, if you look at on the right hand side we have got filters and we have got like this group by thing okay so let's do this instead of six months let me go ahead and select maybe last one month okay and for this one month i'll change the granularity to daily okay still the cost shown here is zero so what we'll do is go here in your filter and go to charge type and in this go ahead and select usage right so when you select usage and apply you will see that actually there is you know some amount getting used maybe $50 uh, I've spent right and uh, okay so what we could do is at this point it is grouped by service so if I scroll down here you can see on which service how much money is getting spent for EC2 hyphen other KMS elastic cash right the amount was given and also like how much is being spent on per day basis I can change the graph like this and then it starts making more sense that on which day uh, you know how much money is being spent so for example on this particular day probably elastic cash clusters were created for some experimentation and then they were deleted so that's why only on one day you see this spent but if you see this particular blue graph this has uh, gone high and then it is continuously running like this now this is ec2 hyphen other now i want to go ahead and now figure out that uh, like where is this spend happening so one good thing, one quick thing which I can do is instead of grouping it by service, right? I can go ahead and actually group it by linked account. So when I go ahead and do that, it will actually show me that which account is costing me how much money, right? So you can see out of the total $50.5, most of the money, like more than 95% of the money is being spent in this account, which is account number 115 right so i know that and in all the other accounts there is not much of spend happening right so what i can do now is go to the filters and i'll go to linked account and in this i will put this particular account 115 and i'll say apply so now the cost which is being incurred only by this account that is shown here now what i could do is i'll go ahead and change the group by again to service so i can clearly see that EC2 hyphen other is the thing which is costing me the maximum amount and I can also see that 
the spend has actually increased right but for for all the other things it's kind of constant we can go ahead and figure that out as well like for example this purple one was a relational database so probably some rds instances were created they were running for a couple of days and then they were deleted right that's why it comes down again now let's try to figure out what is ec2 hyphen other right uh, we don't get a very good idea and maybe you know about it so great <laughs> you can stop the video here but for others this is how you can approach it right so what you do go ahead and filter on the service ec2 hyphen other right one suggestion maybe uh, okay let me leave that but it would be so great if we can just filter by clicking some icon on this one but anyway for now i'll go to service and i'll apply a filter i'll say ec2 and i'll choose ec2 hyphen other right so we'll say apply now in my account 115 for the service ec2 hyphen other whatever is the amount spent that is being shown but how do i drill down further into this i want to really understand that what action has been done which is actually costing me this money isn't it so how how do we find that out so that's where you you go for this other type of grouping which is actually a usage type right this is not ordered by um uh, by by character or by alphabet i don't know for what reason really maybe they have done it in the way that things which are more frequently used those are kept at the top but it becomes uh, slightly difficult at times to scroll here but yeah they they have given us this uh, searching facility right so anyway we'll go ahead and try to group by usage type now this is very useful stuff as soon as you do group by usage type now what do you see you see that you start you you start actually looking at the expense for the actual usage right the like the uh, whatever amount 31 dot 42 31 dollars which were being spent now that is further getting broken down into the actual usage and this is very very useful stuff all of these things which you see here are codes which are given in the documentation for example uh, you can go ahead and just search this thing in the documentation if you want right for example if you just do this uh, you will be able to go ahead and uh, find it out right or i'll just find the link of the exact documentation uh, page and i'll put it in the description later on but it should be possible for you to figure out that this is ebs volume usage and the ebs volume is of gp2 type and it is probably in the ap southeast uh, one uh, aws region right so like you'll be able to figure it out easily right and like generally when here uh, no region is written here it starts with ebs that means this is there for us east one mostly right so uh, that's how it is and for other regions you see sae1 and you know eu and ap s3 and things like that so you are able to understand that probably this much amount is being spent because there are certain EBS volumes which are created in these regions and they are incurring some cost. In addition to that, there's a good amount of money which is being spent on NAT gateway hours. Now, you'll be able to understand that NAT gateway hours is actually the money which you spend when uh, you, know, you have a NAT gateway running. Now, when you go ahead and create a NAT gateway, uh, you pay an amount for that every hour doesn't matter you are using it or not right so that's why if you see here there is some amount which is being spent and if i just scroll to the right you will see that from june 16th some money is being spent right so probably it was created on june 16th and then it is running um there is also another usage type nat gateway bytes which is basically a measure of uh, of amount of uh, traffic which you are processing right via your NAT gateway so um, if you see this is nearly zero because uh, like there is there is not much usage uh, of this NAT gateway so this particular component is very low but this component is high because that is fixed right you you will pay a fixed charge per hour once you create the NAT gateway so the only way to stop that uh, cost is that i should go ahead and actually delete that net, that particular nat gateway okay so uh, that was a quick demo to explain you that how you can go ahead and find it out and uh, i will probably go ahead and just show you uh, the deletion of this particular nat gateway
So I'm, I'm just getting into my uh, account number 115 and uh, we will go ahead and look at the VPC or we can just search for NAT gateway here itself. Yep. And you can see there is a NAT gateway in Northern Virginia region, which is of course costing this money. So I'll go ahead and delete that particular NAT gateway. All right. So it would be gone. I hope you learned something from this video. Please go ahead and try out uh, AWS Cost Explorer. Uh, it is nearly free, I would say, to use if you go ahead and look at its pricing. Technically, it's not totally free. It costs you but a very, very small amount. So go ahead and look at its pricing. But I would highly recommend that uh, you uh, start encouraging uh, people in your team uh, that they go ahead and use AWS Cost Explorer. It gives you very easy access to your cost data and you can go ahead and visualize things. You can go ahead and do the sort of filtering and group by and everything. And you can actually figure out that what is costing you how much money. Okay. So with that, we'll go ahead and wrap this one. Uh, if you learned something, please uh, go ahead and share it with someone and uh, put your thoughts uh, let me know in comments uh, if you have any questions around this or how do you how do you use cost explorer um, i'll be eager to uh, read and reply if there's anything okay so if you want to see more videos on the aws uh, cloud cost and whole finops thing please look at our playlist which is uh, you know which covers many aspects of finops and overall cloud pricing Okay. All right, folks. So with that, we'll wrap up. See you again in the next one.